Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Another Windows 8 video. Today we're looking at the beta, the consumer preview that just came out. Here's the website that you can download the consumer preview from. In my previous video that I made, I talked about the system requirements. Today we're actually going through the installation of it. So you can either download the setup file, which is a small, you know, 5 meg file. It'll connect online, download it, you know, check things for you, see compatibility problems exist, stuff like that. Or you can just download the ISO file, the image file, which is what I usually like to do. Um, so I'll download the image file for a 64-bit operating system or 32-bit, doesn't matter, whichever one you prefer. Um, and um, burn it to a DVD, of course, and then boot up your machine from that DVD, assuming that uh, you set up in the BIOS that your um, DVD drive is bootable, right? So, and don't forget, of course, the product key, the, the DVD key there for Windows 8 Beta. Now, through the installation, like I said, you have two options. If you run that little setup, I ran the setup, had a little problem with my AMD FX processor. It could not recognize it, even though I was running at 4.6 gigahertz. So, I got around that by booting up from the image, the ISO image that I, that I made. And then I went through the screens, as you can see here, and installed it, put in the, uh, the key that it provided, did a custom installation, choose a free partition that had enough space, 20 gigs uh, is what I needed to install it, and, um, and then went ahead with the installation of Windows 8 Beta. Now, the installation screens were straightforward, you know, putting in your uh, uh, PC name, do you want to connect to uh, existing wireless network or not? Do you want to use the express settings, yes or no? You know, all of the basic stuff. Once it's finalized, it reboots, and then boom, there you are, back into Windows 8 beta. As you can see, the beta fish there in that the background. I moved my mouse where the start button is. There is no start button, but there's a hot spot there. I moved the mouse to the other right corner, and then up comes these shortcuts, um, basically, that allow you to go to the apps, all the programs, settings, admin controls, things like that. You can search for things. I'm going to search for Windows Update here at the top because it's going to take a while to get used to where things are. Thank goodness they put a search there so we can search for it. And then, you know, just click on uh, Windows Update, for example, and it'll launch the, the Windows Update. Okay, so that's usually what I like to do when I install a new operating system, immediately get the updates because drivers is a big problem, right? Always with new uh, operating systems and, and betas. So this section here, it's like a little dashboard that pops up, these pop-up shortcuts that allow you to get the things such as the control panel that we're very familiar with. So again, I'm going to make a more in-depth video on each of these for you, but I thought on this first look, again, hovering your mouse on a corner, that hot spot will enable this metro style interface as you can see here with these tiles, these live tiles that update when you're connected to the internet. You can move these tiles around, of course. You can remove them even if you wanted. Um, it's, it's like shortcuts, basically. It's like having shortcuts tiled along your desktop. And of course, you can scroll and have like tons and tons and tons of these tiles all over the place. Uh, or you can start deleting by right-clicking on it and um, then here on the bottom, when you right click, you can unpin basically that, that tile from this start screen, okay? That's what uh, I, I really see is, is, is good about being able to manage this. Otherwise, it's going to get crazy with tons of tiles. Something, you know, different to get used to. Uh, when you click on one of the tiles, you know, you get, again, this interface that allows you to scroll from left to right. Um, and then... In this example, I'm just going to quickly click on uh, top free games, for example, and uh, you can see here are a whole bunch of different games that you can download. It's almost like an app store, basically, right? This is the Microsoft version, which allows you to go ahead and install things. You will have to log in, of course, with your Microsoft account, okay? Now, going back again to this interface, you got your desktop, you got these hot spots on the corners. Remember, you move it to the bottom right corner, up comes that pop-up, you move it to the other corner, up comes the start. Um, screen pop up, you move it to the top left, you see it has like a task um, screen that you can click on and, and basically switch between things. So it's like your task manager really that pops up, shows you all the screens that are open and running in the background so you can flip in between them. So here's the Windows update that I had open previously. Okay, so you know it, it's something that you got to get used to. I'm not sure 100% yet you know how fast this is, how intuitive and um, easy because when I'm looking for, for something in an operating system 
time savings is a big thing for me, right? So having to click there, click there to click on power, and then click again to restart or shut down, that's a, bit, a bunch of clicks for me. Internet Explorer 10. Previously, I looked at this. Um, the main thing for me is that I, I need the websites to work. So I chose my website as an example here, which has different types of technologies, Flash, PHP, HTML, all that jazz mixed in there. So, so far so good. You know, the browser um, is not intrusive. Internet Explorer 10 seems to work fine with my website. So, so far so good. I'll make a separate uh, review about the browser and compare it later on. My next video will be Windows 7 versus Windows 8. Okay, stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think again about the uh, beta so far if you've downloaded it and tried it out. And again, guys, thank you for watching.